Hello, I'm Reza from Red Cat, and today in this video I'm going to show you another visual in Power BI called Waterfall Chart and a use case of how to use it and how you can get best uh, meaning out of this visual. Let's check it out. Waterfall Chart is a good visual to show um, uh, through a period, uh, through a sequence, uh, what is the increases and decreases, what is the starting point, what is the total. One of the things that really good works well with this is cash flow. Um, here I have a cash flow data source. You can download this Excel file from my blog post link down below. Uh, this cash flow data source has a pre uh, a sequence, start and end, and the cash flow value it starts at 5,000, it has some uh, up and downs, and it ends up at something around 10,000, right? So I want to show this using uh, the um, waterfall chart in Power BI. Waterfall chart is quite simple visual to use. Uh, I just add this visual. This is waterfall chart visual. I add it in my Power BI report, and then I add the period into the category and the cash flow into the y-axis. And as soon as I bring it, I see the waterfall chart showing me uh, all increases and decreases. Uh, by default, the waterfall chart show you this data sorted by the value and the value is cash flow. So uh, bigger cash flow, lower um, priority in the sort order, but usually we want this to be sorted by the period, by the sequence down below to get a better meaning. So I click here, I change this to be sorted by period. I have to do it twice because now it's sorted uh, ascending, uh, descending. I have to change it again and sort it ascending. Okay, so now it is sorted ascending uh, from um, based on the period. Now, the thing is that uh, when you look at this sorting, it is still not the correct sorting that we want. It's not chronological order of the month. It's the alphabetical order of the month. I have uh, created another video explained how you can uh, change the sorting of months in Power BI using that video. So go ahead and check that out. In the meantime, for this one, I'm going to add a new column using edit queries to my table. I add an index column. This index column is the column that I'm going to add uh, to use for sorting the period column. Then I close and apply. And I'll go to the data tab. I see the index column and period column. I select the period column. In the modeling tab, I use sort this column by index. This is the way that you sort one column based on another column. You should have a column that has the index of that, another column that has the labels and say this column sorted by that column. And usually when you do that, after that you go and hide uh, the column that you used for sorting. Right. So I come back here and you see everything is sorted perfectly fine. So I have the starting value, some decrease, increase, and it ends up at the total. Now you can enable data labels to have a better view of what's going on. So here is my data labels. Let me make it slightly bigger, right? So here are, are my data labels uh, and it shows that uh, this data started at $5,000 cash. Then we had like $500 or $1,700 decrease, then increase of 4,800 decrease increases and it ended up at $10,600. So quite useful visual to show this compared to line chart or uh, column chart or anything like that. Because if I change this to be a line chart, this is how you would see that. You still see increase and decrease, but showing the total is not uh, possible through that. And it doesn't show you what is the total at every point of the time, uh, or even the column chart. These two are not perfect visualization for that. But if I use waterfall chart, at every point of the time, I can see what is the total on that point on that specific point of the time starting point and ending for that. 
and at the end I will see the total as well. Quite useful visual, um, uh, we see a lot of usage of this in workflow analysis, in finance data analysis, so make sure to go ahead and check it out and use it in your scenarios. If you like this video, go ahead and check our other Power BI uh, and AI videos in our channel, subscribe to your channel and uh, learn more about Power BI and AI. Thank you.